Okay, our question is for a steel alloy with a composition of ninety nine. 99.6 weight percentage of iron and 0.4 weight percentage of carbon. And uh, at a temperature just below the eutectoid temperature, just below the eutectoid temperature, which is 727 degrees C. Now, according to these parameters, we could determine a point on a phase diagram. Suppose this is approximately 0 0.4, and then just below the eutectoid temperature, and this is the point we are talking about, right? Now, what we would like to find out is, first of all, what are the compositions of each of those alpha phase and cementite phase because clearly at this point it is a two phase mixture re region right so we would like to find out the composition of alpha phase and the cementite phase and to be able to do that we need to draw a tie line just below this eutectoid temperature, right? And it is going to intersect with the alpha phase region, which is this light blue small triangle region. And then it is going to show us the intersector point. And then this is usually provided on a known iron carbon phase diagram, which is equal to 0 0.022 weight percentage of carbon. And on the other side, it is going to intersect with this compound phase, cementite, which would contain a 6.7 weight percentage of carbon. Now, since we know this, the alpha phase composition would be 0.022 weight percentage of carbon. The rest would be 99.97 weight percentage of iron so this would be the composition of alpha phase and similarly we could also write out the composition of the cementite phase that is 6.7 weight percentage of carbon the rest would be 93.3 weight percentage of iron okay now the next question is what are the weight percentages of the alpha phase and cementite in this mixture? And for that, we need to make use of the level rule. So we need to calculate the weight percentage of alpha phase and the weight percentage of a cementite phase. Now for convenience, let us label on a phase diagram of these tie lines. For instance, Let's label the concentration difference between the 0 0.022 and 0 0.4, this length with R, and the concentration difference between 0 0.4 and 6.7, that part of tie line, let's label it as S. With that in mind, then the weight percentage of alpha is going to equal to S over R plus S. And the weight percentage of cementite is going to equal to R over R plus S. Remember, all of those R and S are just concentration difference. Now, let's look at the first one, cement uh, weight percentage of the alpha phase. And we just talk about S is simply just the concentration difference, 6.7 minus 0 0.4. And R plus S, which is the total length of this tie line, or the total concentration difference, that will be equal to 6.7 minus 0 0.022. And then, out of which we will be able to calculate its weight percentage, 
could be a decimal or could be a percentage value. And same thing we could do this for the weight percentage of cementite. That would be first of all R is equal to 0 0.4 minus 0 0.022 and then same thing for the R plus S and then we would also be able to calculate its weight percentage right now because this is a two-phase mixture then the weight percentage of alpha phase plus the weight percentage of cementite phase should be equal to one right okay next part which is to find out the weight percent the weight percentage of perlite and pro eutectoid let's use weight percentage to represent this two now first of all what is the perlite a perlite is the alternated layered structure of alpha phase and cementite phase which is a direct result of the eutectoid phase transformation specifically let's write that reaction first so gamma which is the austenite phase upon cooling or the other way upon heating is going to transform into two other different solid phase which is alpha phase and the cementite and this kind of product from the eutectoid phase transformation is called perlite right now if we go back to the phase diagram and let's take a look of this 0 0.4 weight percentage and then let us look at this 0 0.4 weight percentage and uh, start it with the gamma phase let's see what's going to happen in terms of the phase transformation so initially we have the gamma phase right and then some gamma phase is going to transform into the alpha phase because this region here is a two-phase region between alpha phase and uh, uh, gamma phase right so that means there will be some alpha phase front which is exactly the pro eutectoid alpha phase and then we have some gamma remaining right now if we continue to decrease the temperature to below the eutectoid temperature which is 127 degrees C then we would see this remaining gamma phase is going to transform into the alpha plus the cementite phase which is a perlite right now if we are asking what is the weight percentage between the perlite and pro eutectoid that will be exactly asking what is the weight percentage between pro eutectoid alpha phase and the remaining gamma phase just above the eutectoid temperature which is 727 degrees C so that means we have to draw a new tie line let me clear up a little bit in this region now we need a new tie line just above the eutectoid temperature so it's going to be somewhere around here and again this 0 0.4 weight percentage is somewhere here all right so again we need to 
for convenience, label these two parts of the tie line. The first part, let us just label it as uh, U. And then the other part, let's just label it as V. Okay. Now, since we have this, we are now ready to calculate the weight percentage of this perlite and uh, proeutectoid. Now, how do we do that? Again, we need to make use of the level rule. The weight percentage of perlite, let me just simply use P to represent that. It is going to equal to the weight percentage of the remaining gamma phase. That means it would equal to the tie line of U divided by u plus v and then it is equal to the concentration difference between 0 0.4 minus 0 0.022 and then u plus v would be the total tie line lens that would be uh, by the way the eutectoid composition is 0 0.76 here okay so it's going to equal to 0 0.76 minus 0 0.022 and then we will be able to calculate the weight percentage of the perlite which is equivalent to the weight percentage of our remaining gamma phase all right and then the rest would be the pro eutectoid alpha phase pro eutectoid alpha phase and then it is going to equal to v over u plus v and then v would be equal to 0 0.76 minus 0 0.4 and then divided by 0 0.76 minus 0 0.022 Right? So this can also be calculated. And again, because this is a two-phase mixture, then the weight percentage of perlite plus weight percentage of uh, pro-eutectoid alpha phase is going to equal to 1.